So the next thing we're going to look at is disabling caching or caching or however you say it. And that basically stores some resources on our client side browser so that they can be accessed quickly. And this is very, very good for performance, but um, let's say that we want to um, we had a security vulnerability in one of the older versions of our app. We want to make sure that the user is always using the latest version and um, where we provide the security updates. And we can make sure that we do this by disabling caching. So the way we can do this is by setting a few um, security headers. And the headers that we'll set are these four headers. And if we set these headers to these options right here, it disables most types of caching the browsers will use. And it will ensure that we're using the latest version of our app. And if you look, just look at this um, middleware right here, all it does is it sets those headers like this and then calls next. So it's just some basic middleware. And to do this, um, all we're going to do is use um, a helmet middleware that I just showed you here called no cache. And to, another thing, important thing with this is that we have to use um, Helmet version 2.3.0 for these tests to pass. So if we wanna, um, if we do, if you don't have this, what you wanna do is just go to Tools Terminal, run npm uninstall Helmet, npm install Helmet at 2.3.0, and refresh, and that will make sure that we have Helmet 2.3.0 here. So what we want to do is for all requests, we just wanna mount this middleware, which basically sets these headers like this. So in uh, myapp.js, you just want to scroll down to here and you just want to say app.use and the middleware is just helmet.nocache or no cache, I don't know. So like this. And what I'm just going to do is run the refresh in the terminal again just to make sure that our um, glitch app gets restarted. But um, that should be everything you need to do. Um, so you can just copy this and then just paste it into here and then submit it. And you'll see that all the tests have passed. And if we look in this, um, it might take a while to be applied actually, to be honest. Um, yeah, right now we don't have the headers set. But um, what the, what it did do was it, it would have set them some headers um, to disable the caching. Um, yeah, you can see some of them have came up now. Um, cache control. Yeah, so this will make sure that the browser doesn't cache any data and it will always fetch the latest version of our app. So this will mean our users will always get the latest security updates and overall it's more secure. Again, with a trade-off for performance.